kind of. Well, uh, the end of the day, I realize that every time I'm doing this, everybody here could be in the ILA, and, yeah. and that's fine yeah. because I'm not saying something we shouldn't. But downstairs, un without getting a full picture, yeah. if we're pointing at their screens and oh, sorry, and they'll ask me questions, you know. So is he looking for this, or is he checking that, or could this be done in Des Moines? You know, what? <laughs> I mean, things like that. I mean, you know, you just don't know what's going to go down. You go, let's let's, let's keep walking. <laughs> Oh, gotta go. <laughs> yeah, so I usually don't uh, necessarily watch people downstairs. No, we will be obedient. <laughs> right, Max? Unless you're checking out. <laughs> it is. Okay, I'll tell you all, this is going to be interesting. See the three-car garage? I'll say what you tell me. Yes. <laughs> As they pull through the three-car garage, what's happening there are two things. One, it's looked at that mayor's box, that mayor's sealant box, and it said, yep, you got the right box number, and that's the right, that's the Walmart box you came for. Okay, good. But the other thing it did is it did a physical inspection of the box, meaning it looked at all sides, including the roof, the front and the back doors, and it said, yep, there's no damage, doors aren't bulging, it's good to go. The mechanic looked at it. Oh, okay. So two things happened. One is it matched it automatically to its mission, and the other is, is that it literally did a physical inspection. The guy downstairs looked at images, and that's what I'll show you. Well, you know, we're, they go there pretty quick. Ken, yeah, Ken and I were someplace where they actually stopped, and then they, they had pictures of it, and then, you remember that? That was at, in Dallas, I think, when the BN yard, wasn't it? They had all those. Oh yeah, it was the BN yard. It wasn't in one of four, so. Yeah. Yeah, they, they would take pictures of it, and then it would go out. All angles up now. Well, this is taking between two to 300 line scanned images as it drove through up to 30 miles an hour. Oh, really? Okay. And it so makes it into very high depth model. pictures. So downstairs, you're going to see a guy with three computer screens in front of him, and they're crystal clear. Oh, that's the, the whole container. So the whole rig goes across his three screens, and he can zoom in to anything he wants to and see if that's oh. a hole in the roof or just rust or. If okay. something's wrong, how does he stop them from, from, um, from leaving? That, that's the kind of question downstairs. It's a good question. We okay. won't ask it down there because the truth is you'll see how fast they're looking at it. They're not really looking for anything unless they saw a big hole or a gash. Yeah. Okay? And if they did see that, then they would stop. They'd put something on there. Okay. But for dense paint, miss, you know, yeah. they really don't. And they go, whoop, whoop. They go to the seven images about as quick as you can imagine. But they note it. And if it is damaged, that's one of the things the labor wants to do is they make them require them of a certain magnitude of damage that it has to be done on site by ILA labor. Okay. So that's another thing that if it's certain types of damage they don't have to be done but they classify it as something that falls under major damage then they say it has to be done on terminal people kind of don't like that they'd rather go fix it themselves. Well that, that puts uh, onus on them to make sure they fix it. Exactly. Well, they're very Oh, yeah. Everybody <laughs> says what you're, I think you're saying. They think that there they go in a different direction. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, everybody yeah. looks at the yard and they think, but how about those that are going the yeah, opposite direction? I know they're going to be going that way. <laughs> yeah, you're right. They are going that way, but everybody thinks they're not at that side. Yeah, the, the level of safety has just must have improved substantially. Yeah, no, it really has. There's no one driving in the yard. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's nobody in the yard. And I'll give you another thing we won't say downstairs, but they know it. That piece of equipment would have required us to order three men per piece of equipment. And there's 30 pieces of equipment. That would have been 90 people today and 24 hours a day. Well, there's nobody who can withstand a model like that. Nobody in the United States could. For the volumes, it would never justify it. We are able to operate with 90 pieces of equipment, I mean, 30 pieces of equipment, nobody outside, and only eight people that you'll see downstairs during the day. At nighttime, we only have to have one guy here. So 90 versus one or 90 versus eight. But that was, again, we talked about, that was never the bread and butter for the ILA, was their yard personnel. Theirs is more gate, uh, gate, vessel, more volume coming through the port means jobs in every aspect. Mechanics, job, or with rail, um, gate, marine. The manning for working your ship didn't change a bit. But we simply didn't need them in the yard, and they realized that, so we don't hire them in the yard. The truck drivers just must absolutely love this because it gets so